Hi everyone, this is Ravi again. So welcome back to my probably eighth or ninth video on Azure DevOps concepts. So today I'm going to cover really very very important concepts for developers and also for the automation engineers and also for the manual testers. Okay, so let me just open what are all the topics that we will be covering as part of today's session. So today we will be concentrating on Azure repository where uh, the automation engineers or developers will be managing their source code. Okay. So in Azure repository, as same as a GitHub, we have all the features that is being offered by the GitHub. Additionally, we have a lot of flexibility in Microsoft Azure DevOps. Okay. So Today I'll be covering the topic related to how do we create a master branch in the Azure repository? How can we create a new branch for the different teams? And how do we pull the request? And how can we review the changes that are being made by the different teams? And how can we approve the changes? And how to merge the pull requests? Okay, so I'm going to cover all these topics. So before we go to the uh, go to Azure repository, let me just tell you one thing. Okay, so what is master branch? Master branch will be the final code of a project. Okay, so when does a new branch to be created? So whenever there is a master branch, there is a necessity to create a new branches. Why? Because in a project, multiple members will be working. So let's say your project has a 10 members of the um, developers. Okay. So to work these 10 members on a single project, what happens? The source code should be modified by the multiple members. So how can you do that? So let's say team, I have a team of two teams who is working on a same project right so team one is working on one module and team two is working on another module so then the new branch comes into picture so they will be creating their own branches and start working on their modules and then they'll be merging their part of the code to a master branch so that it becomes a final branch which will have the changes of module one and changes of the module two. Okay. So let me just show you practically how it works. Okay. So let me go to this is my Azure tenant or my personal Azure tenant. So where I have a project called Java Spring Boot Web App. Let's assume this is my project. Okay. I'm going to the project and this is my repository okay so first of all how do you import a master repository how do you import import a repository so there is an option here so i'm not going to explain how do we import repository because i'm i'm preparing a separate video for pushing the code to the azure devops okay so generally we go to the import repository and then i'll provide my Either I can provide the URL of GitHub from where I want to import the code or you can push the code from your local system. Okay. So I'm going to cover these concepts in the next video. Okay. So let's assume this is my project called Java Spring Boot Web App where my code, the source code is resides. Okay. So this is my master branch. Okay. So now let's assume this is a master branch. Let's assume I have a team of two members which is team one. Okay. Let me create. So the team one wants to basically contribute their part of code. So now the team one would like to take up a module called Phi and they want to introduce their changes corresponding to the module Phi. So are they going to directly work on this master branch? No. They have to basically create a new branch. Okay. How do we create a new branch? Click on master drop down and click on new branch. Okay. Let's assume the branch name. I'm making it as team three. Let's assume team three. So I'm creating a branch based on the master. Okay. 
just click on create so what happens a new branch has been created that means it copied the entire code from the master branch and duplicated into another branch called team 3 okay so now let's say now team 3 would like to introduce some changes corresponding to let's say module 5 okay let me edit this read file simply so that you can easily understand okay now the team 3 okay i'm making some changes changes made by team 3 for module real for module 5 changes made by team 3 to build a module 5 let's assume this particular file has been changed by team member team 3 okay so what i did i have i'm see i'm not doing actual code change here so basically i just want to show you how we handle these changes okay so the team 3 is making changes in this file okay and then click on commit so now the team 3 is committing so updated readme to introduce the code related to module 5 by team 3 okay so you just click on commit so as soon as you click on commit what happens the new changes that are being done by the team 3 are now reflecting here see you are, you can see that readme file has been updated so if you go to master branch let's see if we have those changes in the master branch see you don't have that code change but the latest code changes resides under team 3 branch but not the master branch okay so now so the team 3 has done the changes so these changes need to be pushed to the, to the master branch how can we do that so if you see as soon as i updated team 3 the azure repository is an intelligent enough to compare these code changes any file code changes in any file this will be compared against the master and it creates a pull request if you see here as soon as i made changes there is a task called create a pull request request has been triggered by the azure devops okay if you go to pull or you can see uh, in other way also if you go to pull request so you can see there is an updated so you updated see the, what it says there is an update to the branch team 3 okay so you need to merge these changes to your master branch okay so what i'll do i just click on create a pull request so that so as a team as a so before create a pull request i have to make some changes okay let me go to let me quickly go to branches here okay go to master branch i have to do some settings here okay i have to change the branch policies okay let me change the branch policies first so what is this i need to check this require a minimum number of reviewers that means whenever there is a code change at least one person needs to be reviewed okay so do you want to allow requester to approve it generally we will not allow requester to approve their own changes but for this video sake video session purpose i am allowing myself as an approver okay also okay and i want to basically check for the linked work items so whenever there is a change pull request i should be able to link these pull requests to the work items also okay i think check for the comment resolution check to see that all comments have been resolved on pull request okay let me check this also okay and then just click save changes 
okay that is done so let me go back to again pull request so for before you do any update to the master branch these whatever the settings i have showed you so you have to set those policies okay so now so we have made changes to team 3 basically the branch team 3 to introduce the code change corresponding to module 5 so now i am going to review these changes as a team leader i want to review the changes done by team 3 and merge those changes to the master branch okay then what you need to do you just need to click on create a pull request so as soon as you click on create pull request you can see that you are actually created a pull request to compare between the branch team 3 and the actual master branch okay so this is my title i want to leave the title as it is now i want to basically provide the reviewer here so i'm selecting reviewer as myself okay generally we will not select that way you should select someone else okay so i don't want to basically if you want to map this pull request changes to a work item or a user story you can map it for now i don't want to map it okay i can cover this in some other session okay now and then click on create so as soon as you click on create what is pens it's going to show you the file if you go to the files here it will show you what are all the changes that you can see here okay so let's say in this file corresponding to master does not have these code changes right so it is actually comparing and showing you what is the difference okay that is fine so if you have any updates so i think this particular update is made earlier okay so this is what the updates and you can see also the commits whatever that has been done okay so let me just go back here now I've, as a team leader i have reviewed and i decided okay this is the code change is fine i can merge this to master branch so what i'll do i'll go here i'll click on approve that means i have approved these changes and then i'll be making this particular pull request as complete either i can make it as complete or i can mark as a draft or i can abandon also if i don't like this particular change i can ab abandon it and then i can provide comments okay so here i basically you can provide add comments also you can add comments here okay i am approving the changes done by team 3 okay and then you just i want to make it as a complete okay click on complete and then required two branches are not passing okay let me just quickly okay let me resolve this so because i have to resolve this comment okay so let me done that is done now i want to complete this okay so because work item is not linked that's okay i just i want to basically complete without linking the work item otherwise i can let me just link this work item okay let me link the work item i think item is not linked let me add the work item here i'm just adding the work item also so that it will not throw any error message for me okay so now you just need to click on complete okay once everything is done we see reviewer approved work item is linked and all the comments are resolved okay so now you just need to click on complete so once you click on complete there is an option to merge to select the merge type what kind of merge you want to do i want to do merge where a non linear historic history preserving all commits basically it preserves all the history for every commit you can also select scratch commit which is a linear history that means with only a single commit 
on the target you are actually managing this commit at target side that means master branch side but if you select merge no fast forward it manages the commits at branch team 3 and also it manages the commits at uh, main branch that is master branch also so generally i can select this one so there is another, another option if you want to keep the team 3 branch you can keep both team 3 as well as the master branch once the changes are merged to the master branch if you want to delete the team 3 branch you can delete the team 3 branch but i don't want to delete the team 3 branch that's why i'm going to uncheck this one and then click on complete merge to merge all the team 3 changes to the master branch okay click on complete merge done that means the merge has been done and click on complete sorry cancel the merge has been done so if you see here ravikant edamakanti completed the pull request that means we have merged everything if you go to files updates you can see that i have merged everything here okay so now if i go back to repository now and see what happens in team 3 branch i have selected team 3 branch and if you select the file readme you can see the latest changes that are there that we already know because these changes now should be reflected in master branch also because we merged these changes go to master branch see if you see here the master branch also has those changes see this is master branch and readme file has the latest changes that are being made by the team 3 for the module 5 so this is how you can create so what we covered how to create a master branch in the azure repository how can you create a new branch we created a new branch called um, team 3 branch right and also how do we generate the pull request once we perform some changes to the team 3 branch that we have covered right and then we have reviewed the changes as a lead and we approved the changes and finally we completed the merge process hope you all understand how can we merge the code changes done by the multiple team members to a single project please provide your comments for any queries and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all.